Hey kiddos, it's Friday, October 5th, and as you probably noticed, I'm not standing in front of you. If you remember, yesterday I kept saying how my goal was to not pass out in front of you. Well, I made it to the end of the day. Problem is, I'm pretty darn close to passing out now, and I'm afraid if I tried to push it another day, I would just go thumpity onto the ground in front of you. So, I'm trying to make myself more alive and better, so I'm not with you. But you'll be okay. I have full faith in my sub, Miss Fossil, being able to take my spot and do a great job since she did it last time. And I'm hoping this brings me back to life. Um, things you're going to need for today. Uh, one, the writing utensil is mostly for uh, after the quiz. I have a thing for you that we're going to talk about in a moment. If you have a pencil, that works much better than a pen. Uh, if you don't have a pencil, then you can use a pen. Uh, but you'll need it afterwards for the activity I have if you finish the quiz. If you don't finish the quiz, where the quiz takes the whole time, then you have nothing to worry about. The notebook is for the uh, Magic Lens notes, uh, for the most part, or maybe any other notes that might help you with the quiz. You're welcome to use them. Mostly Magic Lens, but there's every chance other things might come in handy too. We'll see. Your story handouts, especially the uh, Hey You Down There, the one I gave you guys on Wednesday. If you have that one, you're more than welcome to use it. If not, you can use your iPad. You can just use uh, the button and go button, button over to my website, and you can take a look at it on there. Probably not as good as using the paper one, but it's absolutely better than nothing. So I would highly recommend you do that because going back and referring to things will make things easier. And then your iPad, because that's what you're going to be using here in a moment for the Socrative quiz. It'll make everything much, much easier on you. Uh, so make sure you have that so you can log in here in just a second, and I'll be walking you through it. Our quiz is still happening today. Uh, you should be fine. I have full faith in you. You do get to still work with one partner. Uh, if you don't want to work with a partner and you would much rather work by yourself because you don't trust other people, I don't blame you, and that's absolutely fine. Uh, and if you would like to work with a partner, you're more than welcome to. You will be able to move around the room um, as long as you are sitting next to your partner until you become a distraction and or a pain and then this fossil has full permission to take it away from you and you lose the right to work with your partner. This is not a guaranteed right. This is a privilege until you annoy her. Um, and I've got a feeling that her annoyance level may be much lower than mine. You do still have to remain in desks, uh, but you're more than welcome to sit next to them. Uh, but you cannot have a group of three or a larger group than that if you become distracting or a pain in my patootie or a uh, pain in Ms. Fossil's patootie, then you lose that right to work in groups. This is something you only get to do as long as you use it well, and then after that, you are out of luck. Uh, to let you know, we have the Spirit Week coming up next week. Uh, uh, Monday is the first way, which is dress like your teacher day. So you just have to dress like a teacher. Uh, whichever one of your teachers you want to go with, that's completely up to you. I will tell you, one, you do get house points for dressing up, and two, uh, any kid that hits all five days next week, uh, you get candy next Friday. Uh, and so I will keep track of each day that you dress up, and anybody that hits all five of those on Friday, I will then give you the candy. What candy? I don't know, but I'll try to make it worth your time as best I can. Uh, if you only hit four of the five days, you still get house points. You just don't get the candy. All right. Uh, we're getting ready to move into the Socrative app here in just a moment. If you have your iPad, you're more than welcome to go to that. Uh, you can go ahead and open the Socrative app. It's the same thing as before. You'll log in. Uh, the quiz is going to be run a little bit differently this time, where it's not me controlling it button by button. You get to move around as you would like. So if you are working with a partner, you can jump around from all the questions until you are absolutely ready to turn it in. Then once you're absolutely ready to turn it in, there's a submit button at the very end. Make sure you submit it before you're done, because if you don't submit it, I can't grade it, and then you get nothing for it. Uh, but you can uh, go ahead and log in once again be the kid that does last name and then first name don't make me charge you points I still have like five of you who every time you do this you log in first name and then last name so I'm just trying to help you not lose points you're going to log in with your last name and then log in with the first name and hopefully that makes things a little bit better just trying to help you and then uh, finally on here, the tie game was Cats, uh, because I did Cat in the Hat on the first day, and then Sylvester, along with like Bugs Bunny and the Tasmanian Devil, and they were all playing basketball, but there was most definitely a cat on there. And then we had a lion, and then we had a tiger, and those were all large cats. I did have several people who won this and got points. I'll just have to wait till Monday, and then I can tell you who got it, who got the points, and stuff like that. Uh, next screen. There we go.
All right, so as you're logging into the Socrative app, I would recommend not going too far yet because you can't work with your partner until I get done doing my little special video thing. Uh, but you're more than welcome to go ahead and log in to get yourself there. So you can do it now. So as soon as the video ends, you can then sort of pick out your partner and figure out who you want to work with. Once again, it is going to be the room name of Kyvorp. Uh, log in with your full name, last name, and then first name. And then after that, I don't care what stuff you put. I just delete it. But sometimes you do entertain me. I'll give you that. Uh, and then if you do it wrong I do charge you B points many of you cannot afford the B points but once again at some point you learn by your own choices right so just trying to help you alright I just wanted to give a chance to draw a giant smiley face on there to try and help you guys out be good today make good choices stuff like that oh, that guy's adorable all right so things I wanted to cover with you guys today if you're one of my kids with late book reports um, if you are sure you have everything together and you have the grading sheet still and you have the full thing completed and then you also have all the uh, stuff written out and you remember how to do it all and you're ready to staple it together, you can give it to Miss Fossil. She can staple it, put it behind my desk on that bottom left-hand uh, pile, and then I can grade them over this weekend. But if you're missing anything, like a grading sheet or any stuff like that, just wait till Monday. I'm not going to change Monday from today. It's fine. It's not against you. So just bring it Monday. That's fine. I won't charge you anything more or be any meaner to you on that one. Unless you want me to grade it, if you turn it in, I will grade it this weekend, and I will do my best to uh, get it on to Skyward and stuff like that to help you out. If not, then we'll just aim for Monday. Uh, I will go through and tell you the tie game winners on Monday. I'm not going to tell you all the people right now. One, uh... Uh, it would be boring for all the other classes, and two, I don't have it in front of me anyway. Uh, as you go through and take the quiz, you are more than welcome to use all the handouts. Actually, once again, I highly recommend you use the handouts. Go back, look at them, use your notebook. Uh, if you don't have a handout, you might want to partner with someone who has a handout. If you pick a partner, you might want to make sure you pick someone who read the story if uh, you read it. If not, then you're going to have to be giving them all the answers, and I recommend not doing that because that's a waste of your time. Don't waste your partnering with partnering up with a dumb kid. Uh, if you did not read it, then you can try to read it during class, but it's a fairly long story, which is why I kept trying to tell you to help you out. There is the video that I posted to my website, but it's like a 28-minute video, uh, so it's not going to be the easiest thing to try and listen to that and get it done. This is where, once again, your choices are probably going to come back to haunt you. You can work with one up to one other person. No, you cannot work in groups bigger than that. If you have a group of three, congratulations. You have a group of two and a group of one. So figure out who gets the partner. So maybe you can either work on your own or find somebody else or figure it out from there. So I wish you the best of luck. Uh, you may work by yourself if you don't trust other people. I'm fine with that. Uh, make sure that you do log your own answers. So if you are working with a partner, don't try and put both your names on the same thing. Do not put Joey and Bobby down because neither one of you is going to get a grade and you're both going to get a zero. So you have to, you can work together, but you each have your own iPad and you're each putting your own answers. So you do not put your names together on there. If you do that, I'm going to laugh at you, give you a zero and say, what is wrong with you? Because it's right here in the video. Do not be that person. Sorry. If you have the Simpsons sheets, uh, bring them on Monday. That's fine. Hold on to them for now. If you want to give them to Ms. Fossil and she can put them with the pile of book reports, that's fine. But if I lose them and I don't get them, you're out of luck. Uh, so if you want to be safe, hold on until, until Monday. But if you want to risk it, you're welcome to turn it in. But if it disappears, then, you know, no pity for you. Boo-hoo, boo-hoo. Once the quit is over, one... Make sure you finish and submit your quiz, and then you have work time and stuff like that. But once the quiz is over, do not forget to submit it. Make sure you hit the final part where you turn it in. If you do not submit it, if I don't get it, you get the zero. So do not waste all of your time doing that and then not turning it in. I'm just trying to remind you as best I can for those of you who tend to make some of those poor choices. If you have other homework, you are more than welcome to work on it, and that's absolutely fine with me. Uh, but I also have a review word puzzle you are welcome to do, which I'll show you in just a second. And you're welcome to choose the review word puzzle, and that is absolutely fine with me too. I have enough of them for you if you want to choose that. It is not due uh, until next Thursday. Uh, so you have quite a bit of time because that's when we're going to take the final test. So you get to use it on the final test if you did it. Um, and so if you do it, it is worth up to 10 extra credit points or 10 extra B points. Problem is that goes on the second nine weeks, not on the first nine weeks. So you can help your new grade start off as a higher grade if you want to. That's up to you. Um, 
you can work with your partner if you would like to. If you would like to work with your quiz partner on that, you're more than welcome to. If you'd rather work on your own, I'm fine either way on that one, uh, which I'll explain on the next screen. So there are two parts to it. You're going to have one, which is going to be a word search, and then one, which is going to be a word find. You have to do this one first. This is worth eight points. This one you can do second. This one is only worth two points. Together, they are worth 10 points. But you have to do this one before you can do that because I will not count this one at all if this one's not done. So get this one done. This one requires you to think and look stuff up and know what's going on. This one I can train a monkey to do. Uh, and so uh, make sure you do this one over here. Over here in this bottom area is a word bank. This word bank and all these little areas here, this works both for this area and for that area. So if you're trying to figure out why you can't get the words to work on number 20, and why it's not working for what you think, make sure you are writing it exactly as it shows over here. So hopefully that helps you out. Word bank, do this one first and then do this one last if you want. Or just do that and get the eight points or do that one at the very end. Or waste your time and do this one over here. It's completely up to you. Look at that. There's just drawings all over the place. Just rawr, 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 rawr. Oh, look at that majestic brophy corn looking off into the distance. You can see his eyes going off into that way, wondering what it is that he sees. And it's absolutely beautiful. We'll put a little sun over here in this area, sunshine coming down. Uh, maybe some birds flying around him. Man, that is just something else. I'm impressed. Ooh, look at this handsome fella. I felt bad because last time I was absent, I had someone else's uh, goofy 8th grade picture or 7th grade picture up there. So I thought this time I'd put another goofy 8th grade picture up there. Uh, so this is a goofy 8th grade picture for you to take a look at. I have no idea who this person is. It could be literally anyone. But whoever it is, I'm sure they're incredibly goofy. Uh, and we could just imagine them any number of different ways uh, to try and help you out from there. Uh, just sort of saying different things. Uh, just woo, look at that. Fun stuff. All right, last thing for you again, just to remind you, once the quiz is over, don't forget to submit it. Uh, if not, then you get the zero. You can either work on their homework or work on the word puzzle. It is worth extra credit, but not until going on to the second nine weeks. You can work with the quiz partner or on your own. Other than that, I'll be back Monday. I'm sure that giving myself a day to rest and try to feel better than we should be good. Fingers crossed, and I'm not passing out and falling down and stuff like that. All right, kiddos, I miss you. Uh, be good. And uh, good luck on the quiz. If you didn't read it, double good luck on the quiz. Those of you who did read it, good job. I'm proud of you. Choose wisely with your partner. Don't lose points for being that special kid. And uh, enjoy your weekend. Bye.